Yo, hi everyone. Now we're here again for another game. Um, to be discussed doon sa December 31 game date. So, Tagalog session tayo ngayon. Um, as promised, we would have sessions in Tagalog in respect to our own dialect. Okay? So, uh, for this game, uh, we would be discussing New York Knicks versus Toronto Raptors. So, to begin with, daan natin standings nila. New York Knicks is uh, at ninth spot right now sa East uh, with two wins and two losses. Um, the beauty about this is that uh, the Knicks have won back to back. And, uh, sobrang totoo yan, eh? <laughs> totoo yan. Knicks have won back to back, and not only that, uh, they've won, they've defeated Young Bucks. And we all know, lano kalakas ang Milwaukee Bucks with uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo and the rest of his gang, um, and then they defeated Cleveland Cavaliers. Actually, they gave. The Cavs, their first loss. Uh, that's why the Cavs are now at 3-1. Okay, so 2-2 na ang New York Knicks. While the Chicago, I mean, while the Toronto Raptors is at 0 win and 3 losses. You heard it right, the Toronto Raptors, man. They haven't registered a win yet. And they're at uh, number 13 sa East. Uh, again, number 13, 0-3 Toronto Raptors. So this game... Um, for this game, after nung laban na to, merong streak na magpapatuloy. It's either the winning streak of the New York Knicks or the losing streak of Toronto Raptors. So, we'll see. This is interesting because, uh, well, I'm a New York Knicks fan. So, uh, there are a lot of people who were bashing uh, Julius Randle um, at the start of the season. And um, they were saying that uh, Julius Randle uh, has to be shipped, shipped away or shipped out of the team. He has to be traded and sh you know shit like that. Um, but people are starting to uh, switch gears, so to speak, because Julius Randle has shown what he could do. He is showing superstar numbers um, at this early going. So I'm not sure if you're one of those Julius Randle haters, but um, look at the numbers, look at the results. Um, if I were me to ask. Uh, ikikip ko si Julius Randle. Um, another thing is wala pa din yung ibang players ng New York, di ba? Wala pa si Austin Rivers dyan. Um, their rookie, Obi Toppin, uh, has only played one game because of a uh, calf injury. Um, ganun din si Quickly. Marami pang wala yun. Just imagine if they would have everyone or at least um, mabawasan yung mga in may injured, may, may, may injuries rather than a uh, Man, New York should just be better. Um, while the Toronto Raptors, well, they actually played well in the Karaan, but they messed up towards the end. Uh, I'm talking about their game with, um, against Philadelphia 76ers. So um, I'm looking at Toronto Raptors and uh, I see some sort of um, inconsistency in terms of capability of what they can do. I guess um, wala namang question dot. Magaling naman talaga sila. They're a bunch of talent, uh, ta talented individuals. Um, yung consistency lang in uh, the way they would react into game uh, game time situations and stuff like those uh, they need the leader of course they still have Kyle Lowry right there they still have Siakam but I guess masyadong masakit yung pagkawala ni uh, what's this? Mark Gasol for me meron naman silang nakuhang uh, pamalit pero the leadership that Gasol brings uh, maybe is way different Okay, okay. Zero three sila, two two ang New York. I checked on the spread. It's my it's plus nine New York Knicks and minus nine Toronto Raptors. I guess that's uh, too disrespectful for my New York. Um, plus nine uh, on someone who has won back to back, and minus nine on a team which hasn't registered a win yet. I know this is just the start of the season, but I guess that's just too high. Plus nine for the for the Knicks. Um, so my suggestion is for you to for you to veer away from those money line. Wala mo na magma money line ngayon. Rather to be safe, uh, go and pick New York Knicks plus nine. Um, I think meron iba pa dyan magpa plus ten. If plus ten will be given, go and take that shit. Uh, the New York Knicks 
are here to play. They have Tom Thibodeau, um, a New York, um, a New York fan. Mula pa bata pa siya. And once you're given that opportunity to coach for your team, it's something else, you know. Um, it's an opportunity. You're getting paid for it, so for sure you would be giving your best just to show what you could r truly do, and just to keep that role. All right. So again, let me repeat. Uh, go for New York plus nine. Again, New York Knicks plus nine. It's not even improbable that New York that New York would uh, even win that game. I would be watching that game, as always. All of games in New York, I will be watching. Uh, we'll see. But New York plus nine, that should be enough. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please uh, do. Please just click on that uh, subscribe button below. And um, uh, for our Facebook page, it has the same name, Pass It Ball, or just follow and like it. And you can reach me through Messenger if you got some questions or clarifications. I'm gonna do my best to, um, you know, to, to to give a to give you a holler back and uh, to reply. All right. Um, enjoy the Christmas season. Enjoy the New Year, everyone. Responsible gaming, please. Peace out. Pass it along. God bless.